want to share with you probably one of the biggest game-changing beauty hacks that you can do for your skin that will not only save you a ton of money, but people will probably accuse you of having some type of spa treatment or work done to your skin. I actually did not come up with this beauty hack on my own. I learned about this from watching a plastic surgeon on social media a long time ago. And I've kind of been gatekeeping it <laughs> to myself, but since this beauty hack is so easy to do and it really is a total game changer for the skin and with all of the holiday parties and get togethers coming up, I figured it was probably time to share this. Basically what this is, it is an at home face peel, but it's not one of those scary face peels that you see people using on Amazon. I for one cannot use anything like that. If you are someone like me, I suffer with hyperpigmentation. Specifically, I suffer with melasma, which if you deal with melasma, you know how finicky melasma is. And if you put the wrong product on your skin, your melasma will darken up and it will take you months, if not years for your melasma to fade. So I have to be really cautious what I use on my skin, but I still want to use really potent products that will make a huge difference in number one fading my dark spots and hyperpigmentation keeping my skin firm and youthful smoothing out my skin getting rid of any texture making my skin basically look like it was ironed out getting rid of any fine lines and wrinkles or at least making them appear to look a lot better than what they are and that is what this beauty hack will do it will gently give you gorgeous glass skin and you don't have to go to a beauty spa and spend a ton of money and you also don't have to deal with your skin shedding and peeling off for days and you don't have to hide out in a cave for weeks before you can go out in public. That is how game changing this beauty hack is. When I heard this plastic surgeon share this hack, I did start testing different products and I feel like a lot of the products I tried his hack with were just way too intense. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if there were products that were specific to doing this hack to give you this at home glowy peel without having any of that irritation. Instead of me having to play chemist in my bathroom and trying out all of these different concoctions, I found a product that will actually do this hack that's already been formulated. Their chemists have already formulated it. I don't have to try to figure it out and test it on my skin and you know have any damage done to my skin. But this is by the brand Medic 8. Now, many of you have probably already heard me rave about their retinaldehyde for a couple years now. This one's almost empty. This is the vitamin A serum that I use and I love it. But I was on their website buying more of my vitamin A serum from them, and I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but I saw that people were saying that they use the Medic 8 Sleep Glycolic in combination with the Medic 8 uh, Crystal Retinol. And I started reading more about this product and I thought, wait a minute, I could do the hack that I learned from this plastic surgeon. Instead of trying to mix different brands of acids, these are formulated to work together, so it's a gentle at-home peel. But, I mean, hello, you're gonna get the most amazing glow ever. What is interesting about this product and why I wanted to share this hack finally, I've known about this hack for a long time, but I didn't share it because I was afraid your face would fall off if you tried to play chemist with just other acids. But this would be the perfect product to do this hack with, especially since the brand suggests that you use these in combination to do this at-home peel. This is a high strength glycolic, but you're not going to get this high strength on your skin all at once. It's an encapsulated glycolic. So overnight while you sleep, it will gently give you little doses of the acid into your skin versus one big burst of acid that's going to immediately cause burning, redness, irritation on your skin. And then overnight, that will help to shed off, kind of eat off any of those dead flakies that you have sitting on your skin. If you look in the mirror and you're like, man, my skin just looks so dull. I just feel like I wanna just scrub it really hard and peel off that outer layer and reveal the beautiful skin underneath. That's what this will do gently with the chemical that's in this. So you don't have to scrub your skin. The brand suggests that you pair it with their retinaldehyde two times a week only. This is not a nightly thing. This is also 11 times faster working than a retinol with an OL. This is a retinal, a retinaldehyde. This is also just as potent as my prescription strength tretinoin that I used to use. I used to use prescription strength Retin-A, Tretinoin for probably 22 years. 
And just out of the blue every now and then I would get like burning, irritation, flaky redness like all around my mouth, of course around here. Even when I would sandwich it in between a moisturizer and do all the things that my dermatologist would suggest but I got tired of it. This product right here is my holy grail retinaldehyde. As you can see, it's pretty much empty, but I already have backups of it. It is amazing by itself for my nightly retinol. Now, their retinaldehyde, I use the strongest strength. I'm on their 20. I started out with their six. So if you're new to retinols, the nice thing about this brand, they start with level one, three, six, 10, and then their 20 is their newest one. This is the absolute strongest over-the-counter vitamin A serum that you can purchase that will not cause irritation. Well, at least for me, it causes no irritation. The retinol alone will help my skin cells to turn over on their own, but this right here is going to supercharge this and take it to the next level and give your skin the most amazing glow. So if you have a holiday party or some type of a get together and you're like, man, I don't want to spend $300 at a spa to have some type of appeal and you don't want all that downtime, maybe try something like this, see what it does for your skin. I have been blown away at the results and I think you're going to be blown away at what your makeup looks like afterwards. Your makeup is going to go on so flawlessly afterwards because there's no dead dry flaky skin in the way of your makeup laying beautifully on your skin. Also this is on sale right now for 30% off so I'm going to link down below plus there's free gifts included. The sale right now is absolutely ridiculously good so that's another reason why I wanted to share it right now. So all I do when I use it in the evenings only two nights a week I just use it a gentle cleanser before I use it. Now I always do a double cleanse so I take off my makeup first with a gentle oil cleanser and then I use a gentle face cleanser afterwards and then I don't use toners nothing like that. The very first step I use after my face is clean I use their sleep glycolic just a little pea size and I put that all over my face. My next step I apply their crystal retinol and again I am using the highest strength the crystal retinol 20. The next step I always like to use some sort of a hydrator. Now you could put the hydrator on before your retinol retinol or you can do it in the step that I like to do. I always like to put the retinol right after and pair it immediately with the glycolic but you know do whatever works best for you. That's how I have found to get the best results. They do have their own peptide serum which I love that adds a ton of hydration to my skin. Now this is not one that I would buy normally unless it's on sale. I mean I absolutely love it but I just don't like to share it unless it is on sale because you know for a hydrating peptide serum I do think it's a little pricey but at 30% off you can't go wrong because this is really really impressive so I will layer about half a dropper full of this and this will instantly give me the most amazing burst of hydration to my skin and then my routine is super simple I just put on a really good thick moisturizer and the one that I love to use on the nights that I do this at home peel I use my event sequel fate this is a nice thick moisturizer which is very healing for the skin so if you are dealing with any inflammation or redness or anything like that in your skin. I will even put this on like a cut, a scrape, a burn, and it's just magical because things heal overnight with this. If you are into slugging or anything like this, it's not like a Vaseline, but a lot of people instead of using Vaseline will use their Event Sequel Fate because it is such a nice, thick, rich cream. And a lot of people, actually a dermatologist, recommends using this instead of that super expensive bougie La Mer cream. To me this just gives much better results but use whichever hydrator, whichever moisturizer you want. The key is to not use other acids or things like that in the routine on the night that you're using this at home peel routine. Now I know I'm going to get asked a few questions so I went ahead and thought let me answer these questions now in this video so I'm not answering the questions <laughs> in the comments but of course if you do have any questions or comments leave them down below. I am more than happy to help anyone out if you have any questions. Now the first question I'm sure that I'm going to get asked is, wait a minute, what about your holy grail face serum? This is still my all time favorite holy grail sleep serum. This is the one by Dermalect. I'm sure most of you already know about this because I rave about it all the time. This is sort of the same concept as this, however I wouldn't necessarily pair this with a retinol because this isn't just a glycolic. This does have a very low percentage, not 10%. <laughs> this has a very low percentage of glycolic in it, but it's also formulated properly with also vitamin C and with a beta hydroxy acid 
that will also go deep down in the pores to kind of help scoop out uh, any dirt and debris. So if you are more so dealing with large pores and you're like, man, I just wish there was something that would make me wake up and I would instantly have glass skin and my pores would look really, really tight, then this might be something that you would rather use instead. But I would not play chemist and mix this with this because it potentially could be a little too strong and this wasn't formulated to work with this. I actually use this during the day on the days like if I'm not gonna be out walking the beach or you know in a garden or something like that. I will use this during the day in place of like my vitamin C serum and of course then I use a good sunscreen and reapply my sunscreen throughout the day and I only do this maybe two or three days a week. Another question I know I'm gonna get asked is, can you use any acid, any glycolic acid that you have at home? I wouldn't. I mean, do whatever you want with your face, but I personally would not. So if you have, say, like the ordinary glycolic acid or lactic acid, and you wanna play chemist and mix your acids with retinols, I personally wouldn't do that. Have I done that before? Yes, and is it very smart to do that? No, <laughs> because you potentially could damage your skin and permanently scar your skin. So unless you are a chemist, unless you are a dermatologist, unless you're a plastic surgeon, whatever, I wouldn't do that. That's why I thought it was so great that the brand already had an at-home peel formulated that they already know has been tested for years that work well together. Now, if you're wanting to use a daily acid on your skin, I personally think a glycolic acid is a little too intense to use on your skin every single day. You know, the first few days you might be like, oh my gosh, this is great. But so many people end up saying, oh my gosh, I used it for a week or two and now my skin is raw and burning. And now you've damaged your skin barrier and that can take weeks, sometimes months to heal. So if you're looking for something to use on the daily, not in the same routine that you use the sleep glycolic, they do have a daily acid that you can use if you are someone who loves to use a toner on your face. This has more gentle acid. It has the PHAs in it. So you don't have to use this one, but if you are looking to take advantage of their sale, this is something you might be interested in if you're looking for a daily toner or acid that you can use. Another question I know someone's gonna ask is, can I mix their sleep glycolic with my already prescription tretinoin Retin-A that I use? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> so I would not be the chemist and mix things. And if it was prescribed by your doctor, I wouldn't change up your routine at all. I would talk to your doctor or dermatologist first. Don't listen to me, I'm not your doctor. Listen to your doctor and get your advice from your doctor of what's best for you. Remember, I just share what works really great for me. Also, I know another question someone's gonna ask is can I put this around my eyes? Now, I do not put their sleep glycolic up around my eyes, but I do put their crystal retinol, I do put that up around my eyes. However, maybe about six months ago, they came out with their retinol specific for their eye, their eye serum. This is amazing if you don't want to uh, put your face products up close around your eyes this is a retinol that you can put up around your eyes again this works 11 times faster than a regular retinol that you could use and of course that's just what their studies say i'm not just you know making those numbers up that's what i've read in all the studies about retinaldehyde there's one by beauty of joson or joseon which is a really nice eye serum a retinaldehyde eye serum but that's I think like 10 times less strong than this. So if you like the beauty of Josam, which I do, I feel like it's really nice, it feels good around my eyes, but I just didn't feel like I was getting enough anti-aging benefits from it. If you are looking to take your eye serum and your eye creams to that next anti-aging level and the beauty of Josam one is just not cutting it for you, based on my calculations, this one ends up being like 10 times more potent <laughs> than the beauty of Josam one. And you only need the teeniest amount of this and this is absolute perfection around the eye area. Now, I've even been putting this on the my eyelid, not down here, but up here right underneath my eyebrow. So this is another one that I can highly, highly recommend. Now, if you wanted more information on this retinol, this amazing vitamin A serum that is my all-time favorite holy grail vitamin A serum that can be used every single night, I have another video that is very detailed and it will probably help answer a ton of questions that you might have on this and why this is the strongest over-the-counter retinol that you can get without a prescription and why I personally think this blows prescription strength Retin-A, Tretinoin out of the water. I have another video I will pop up here if you wanted to click on it and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.